We interrupt this program to bring you... In five, four, three, two, NL, music. No, this is not iCarly. Hi, hello. It's Mac and Cheesy once again. Welcome back. And I do have the Mac and Cheesy once again, um, which I believe I'll need today because I don't know what to record. So we're going to let the Mac and Cheese lead us. I have some ideas, but I just don't know. I don't know. So as you see here, I have some uh, different saves that you guys have never really seen me play before. Um, so I have my Legacy Challenge, which is very much um, in the midst of, you know, they're, they're in limbo, we'll say, of um, house rulers or whatever you want to call it. There's like, so, you know what, honestly, I might, because I was thinking, this is like my free play house, just like some random girl with a cat. And I just play with her whenever I, like, have no idea what to play. But I haven't touched my Legacy Challenge in a while. And it's the Rekraken household. And I just love them so much. So I'm going to show you guys them. And that's what we're going to do today. Because they're honestly kind of cheesy. But, like, in a good way. Um, so we started with Kate McCracken. A wonderful, wonderful sim. Um, insert image here. And Cameron a Fletcher from the you know he was a um what do you call it an npc oh my gosh an npc from uh the college living university living and they had three beautiful children this is not the button i meant to click we have casey mccracken claire mccracken she's the oldest so there's claire mccracken casey mccracken and their brother Cash McCracken. There's also CJ because they have two. Uh, they had two boys and two girls, but CJ is in university right now, and the rest of them are living back at their childhood home. Now, let's start with Claire. Um, she is the oldest. Um, she takes after her dad, Cameron. Um, also, okay, remember how I, I said that they're, like, cheesy and everything? So, their mom, Kate McCracken, I don't know why, but I just thought her name sounded so cute. And I think their last name was, like, generated from the dice on the thing. Um, and then I was like, Kate McCracken, like, that just sounds good. So, she was, um, she went to university to become a lawyer. She was super successful. And she met Cameron, who was going to the rival school. Uh, she went to Brightchester. He went to the red one. I forget what it's called. Um, and they just were like campus cross lovers, honestly. It was so cute. And so they got married. He moved into her house. And then they went and like bought their own house. Very cute. Very cute. Um, so they had Claire... And like, okay, so their names, it's like C and K, C and K, but like, you'll see like, it was like every other child is what I did, which was like kind of cringy, but like, it was cute. So they had Claire, then Casey with a K, um, Cash with a K, and um, CJ. I think CJ was born before, CJ and Cash are twins. CJ and Cash are twins. I totally forgot that went right over my head. Claire, Claire McCracken, she, um, she went to university after college and she thought that she was going to go and follow in her dad's footsteps and, you know, be like a brainiac, you know, cause he's like this tech guy, but she, um, she couldn't do it. <laughs> she like, she was not doing so great. Um, and then Casey also went to university she actually, look, she's got the, I'm sorry, but she put on the freshman 15 she did. Um, maybe I have that wrong. So I'm honestly going to have to go into game to remember because I haven't played with them in months, guys, like months. So Claire, she went to university. Oh, wait, she might have graduated, honestly. And I either that or she's finishing her classes from home because she had like one class left. But Casey, Casey actually 
she did not do good. Like, I, I pulled her out. She's a college dropout. Um, it's sad to say. But she will be the heir because I'm doing um, the... What is it called? I have it in my notes. Okay, so for my legacy challenge, I'm doing this succession of like rules and laws that they have. Basically, I wanted to. Do, this is my first time. Technically, as you guys saw, this is legacy challenge take two because the first time I did this, I was doing it the same way, um, with like the same rules um, that I put in for this one, which I'll tell you about in a second. But my files crashed. Like my save file crashed. I lost everything. So I had to restart all of the challenges that I was doing in my free time. I was very heartbroken. But um, there's the gender law, bloodline law, air law, and species law that you have to set. So I will uh, link the rules down below from the uh, actual page in case you guys want to like go and see that. I know I'm not like the first person to ever do this, but like... For anyone who's just now seeing the Legacy Challenge or just wants to like go and see what it's actually about, you know, on the rules and whatnot, because I'm a rule follower, sorry not sorry, um, I'll put that down in the in the description. So there's uh, the gender law, I picked strict equality, so that means that every other, that the next heir has to be every other gender. So then the bloodline law, I chose modern, so that means that the next heir can be naturally born or adopted. Um, and I just felt like that, that was reasonable, you know? We don't want anyone to feel left out. So then the air law, air law, I chose the exemplar. Um, it basically means you take one of the founder's three traits, which would be Kate McCracken, and any eligible heir with said trait will be the next heir. So if there's no eligible heirs, then it's the firstborn. Or if it's the, there's multiple heirs, like let's say, all three of them got the chosen trait, we would just choose the eldest. So then it would go to Claire. If none of them had the trait, it would also go to Claire. Um, and then the species law, I chose brood. So the heir must be born from the previous heir, no matter what gender. So let's say a male alien sim gets pregnant and like he was the heir, it, their child has to be the heir. So, I felt like that just made sense, um, as long as they come from the, the last heir, you know, so we can't do, like, like, let's say all of them had, like, two kids, right? And let's say Claire was the heir. If Claire dies, that doesn't mean her kids can't be the heir. Um, so then for our legacy, like I said, Kate McCracken was the founder, and the trait I chose for her was neat, because I just felt like that was a good, wholesome trait. I don't remember her other traits, I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, I have them in my notes. This is awkward. So she also had music lover and self-assured. And then Cameron, he was a genius, goofball, and geek. Also, Cameron is just so amazing because he took on her last name. Yeah, yeah. Because remember, his last name is Fletcher. He's like one of the NPCs, like I said. Then the problem becomes with the gender law and the air law is it's supposed to be like technically the next heir is supposed to be male but neither of her sons had the neat trait so then it would fall to Casey because she got the trait and I feel like that's what makes sense but then we have Cash he didn't really have like an aspiration that required going to college because he wanted to like be a gardener or something and he loves cats so he stayed home he did not go to college um yeah he's a he wants to be a freelance botanist collector thing so i was like okay that's fine they got kind of broke um with sending three kids to college anyway because both of their parents like kind of died abruptly that was really sad um I think we can go in game now and I'll show you guys how they died because they show that in the little genetic uh, thing now. So yeah, that was Claire and then Cash and CJ and then we had Casey. Cameron died by old age, so it was like sudden, but you know, not. And Kate, their mother, also death by old age. Um, it was just like still sad though, you know, but student, Cash is an opening act. He's like... 
Yeah, he does, like, um, comedy on the side to pay his bills. Because <laughs> you guys, look. They only have 9,000 simoleons. Like, ooh. But look at all these little traits she got. Oh, this one she obviously bought. But yeah, I felt like that was necessary. Oh, Cash seems to be enjoying this song. Should he embrace that he likes island music? Yeah, go for it. Claire also likes island music. Okay, cool. I'm glad you guys have that in common. That's cute. And Casey, she wants to be a computer whiz, but she also doesn't have a job. Yeah, I think she had just gotten home from... Yeah, so she's going to have to... Let's do that. Let's get her a J-O-B. It's like Monday, 4 in the morning. Um, yeah, tech guru career. Okay. Yeah, she will become a tech guru. And that will just be her job. It's weird, like, I end up using that job a lot, but I think it's because of the aspiration. So... She didn't start on that. Code monkey. Let's give you guys a little tour. Oh, look at their little photo wall. I love this. I'm so proud. It's mostly their mom, of course. But this is like all her college days. This is her. And, ah. Cameron took that picture. <laughs> These are like the pictures that he took with their daughters. That's them. I forget who has the camera, but I'm going to end up giving it to Casey. Because honestly, it's she's probably just going to end up being the heir. She's the only neat one. It does suck that she's the dropout. But if it were to be, like, it would be one of the twins, right? But neither of them have the trait. And they're, they're twins. So I'm pretty sure they're twins. Let's double check that. If I go, that's the wrong one. Okay. The fact that they're childhood buds, like, that's really cute. Yeah, he's in culinary school. He's, like, doing big things. CJ's about that life. Um, he's so cool. And meanwhile, he's, like, a genius music lover and a geek. But, like, he, he wanted to be a chef. So I was like, okay, you can be a chef. I mean, like, would it tell me if they were twins? I'm pretty sure they were twins, guys. If not, it's still, like, that was the order. Um, but look, so these are actually their childhood rooms, believe it or not. So this was the boys' room, and then the girls shared a room for a while. This is the master bedroom that was their parents. We've got, like, a little reading area in the corner and upstairs bathroom this is like the study oh the upstairs computer is broken that's not good repair that and then this is like the kids like playroom um it's all very nice very nice and then this was like just an extra room so why did i have him writing jokes okay but i mean he's a good comedian too like level three so you know he's just like an entertainer and like a botanist because that's just he is a music lover as well i think um no he's a cat lover but yeah i want to get him a cat so i'll move him out eventually oh congrats on landing that sweet job i think this is going to be great for you thank you yes because as you know i'm a college dropout so i would i would like to have a job i need you to stop practicing because it's not even your violin it's not so as you can see this is cash's side I gave him little, like, cat things, and he's got, like, the little botanist stuff. And then, oh, there's the little hobby board. So cute, right? And then they have, like, this wall of uh, posters and everything from, like, literally their childhood. And then um, CJ was, like, the athlete, so he has the trophies and medals. And But he took all his, like, personal posters. <laughs> Guys, this family is literally my whole heart and soul. I can't believe I forgot about them. It was so cute. Oh, my gosh. I wish I had pictures to show you guys. But so Claire, she's, like, not a girly girl. You know, she's very much into tech and everything. And then Casey, she's a girly girl, but she's also a gamer. Like, she's a girly gamer. And so her side was, like, super pink with butterflies and everything. And then her sister's room was, like, more blue and, like, chill and, like, you know um she had like the skateboards like the little skateboard art really cute really cute stuff i don't know does she yeah she still has it look 
Isn't that so cute? So that was like the probably girliest thing that she had. But she ended up going to, what is this school? Foxbury, yeah. She went to Foxbury like her dad. Casey also had gone to Foxbury, but she, like I said, dropped out. Um, and then I think CJ went to Brightchester, like their mom, which is just so cute. Um, and then CJ, guys, just in case you didn't know, it stands for Cameron Jr., yeah, because he was, he was like the firstborn boy. Um, so we had CJ and then we had Cash. Oh my gosh, like I'm cheesing over a Sims family, guys. Like seriously, they're just the love of my life. Also, why is she studying in the bathroom? I, I couldn't tell you. Um, but then, so like, this is, this was like the workroom. So they had like their own little junior like wizard set. And then Cameron's, you know, lab station. And then they also dabbled in some woodworking from time to time. So that was pretty interesting. But yeah. Oh, and then here are the urns behind the staircase. Yeah. This table. Okay, guys. This table is from their first, like, house. Yeah. I know. Crazy. Um, this is from their wedding. They got this at a flea market. It's just so great. I love their house. I do. And um, I showed you guys a little bit of the backyard, but... Excuse me. This is obviously like their um, dollhouse from when they were children. And then these are Cash's plants. Like these did not exist before. No, they're both sick. Oh gosh. You were supposed to go take a nap. What are you, what are you doing? Did the music heal him? Like what's happening? Where did his symptoms go? And I do have auto lights on because who keeps their lights on all day? Not I, my friend. Not I. And then look, so I... Definitely already put her stuff in here. This is her electricity experiment from school. Yeah. And then I gave her like these cute little things. And this is a poster that she had in her dorm. So it's like obviously her room. You're just going to sleep all day? You know what? The first nap was to get her um, healthy. This is like a, an, energy, an energizing nap. But I would rather you just go smell the aroma. Of course, great status. You want to know how you're doing in your advanced string theory course? You're a stellar student and have one of the highest grades in my class. I wish more of my students were as committed as you were to mastering the material. She's always been a good student, though. Like, she can't help it. They should go to the gym together. This is, um, Knox, right? Oh, he looks like her type. Kind of a jerk, but you know, probably has a good heart. Knox Greenberg. Not him wearing green. Oh my gosh, they're both wearing green. She could do a funny introduction. She can be funny. Talk about eco lifestyle. That's too funny, guys. That's too funny. Embarrassed. What did she say? Maybe she didn't say it. Maybe he said it. Well, that did not go very well. Oh, so she's going to try a different workout. No, please don't push the limits. You should not be doing that. Who's calling? <gasps> her student loans. I totally forgot. Casey has failed to make an on-time payment towards her student loan. Casey has a remaining balance of 153. The bank has extended the payment window and stresses the further non-payment will result in consequences. Just make the payment. Make the payment. You can afford it now. Set amount. Minimum $7. No, just pay it off, girl. Pay it off. Math time has passed since Casey dropped out from university. She can enroll in university classes again. Bro, that just, that makes me sad. That really does. She should go take a shower. Oh, polish to perfection. She would, like, do that now. You guys can see CJ and all his university glory. I'm nervous that he's not doing well, but we're about to find out. We're about to find out how well he's doing. Um... And then Casey's going to have her first day at work. So let's get them tucked into bed. Claire's paper is looking good. At this point, further editing won't improve it much, though it may help Claire grasp the material a bit better. All right, well, let's, let's see for ourselves. Oh, look, maybe it's because their dad's here and he's sad. I am about to, oh, look, brag about grades. Guess what, dad? Not him eating the leftovers. Where's it gonna go? Where's it gonna go, Cameron? Where's it gonna go? Cameron put on some weight too, not gonna lie, before he passed. 
was, uh, I don't know if it was that dad bod or what, but he got a little thicky thick. <laughs> he got a little thicky thick. Look, maybe day was awful. Well, we don't really celebrate it. Claire's really about to graduate, bro. Like, I think once she has her graduation and everything, but where she'll live, I have no idea. Like, she could literally go anywhere. Anywhere. So, right, Chester? Mr. CJ McCracken. How the heck are ya? I literally miss this family so much. Like, this was the best decision I've ever made this week. So, let's see. He needs to give a presentation, submit a term paper. Oh, he still has some homework to do and two exams. Okay. Well, let's get on that homework, sir. Yes, university homework for restauranteering. I mean, they're both on the same day, so I don't think the order matters. Oh, maybe drink that to help you stay focused. He has three out of 12 course credits. Oh, so he's going to be here for a minute. He's got like some friends, you know, mostly his siblings, but Armani, I think that was their babysitter when they were young, though. Their nanny. I'm not going to lie, I kind of hate the setup of the dorms, because this just like, it just doesn't feel real. Like, I know they said that they styled it after American dorms, but like the layout right here, it just doesn't, it doesn't feel right. This is literally college though. Like you go to class all day and then you eat, you sleep and you play Uno and you go to sleep <laughs> and then you do it all over again and you find time for homework. Like that's college, man. I tell you this. Okay. So I don't know why it was in triple speed still because I never put it in triple speed. I don't think. Oh, also I'm pretty sure Cash is gay. Um, just so you guys know. But CJ, he's he's playing for Team Hetero. Oh, they're doing a debate. <gasps> Did she just get up when he sat down? Give apartment key? Oh, don't do it. And compliment appearance. He's feeling confident. Okay, from the lot. Oh, uh, this could be really cute, guys. <gasps> it worked. I really think that he should, like, try and get with Sivan, but I don't know. I don't know. When did he get a baking skill? Maybe next semester he should take another class on baking. He just has, like, all this, like, level one stuff, and it concerns me. But he is a level six cook, level four gourmet cook, and a level two mixologist. Not to flex. Oh, he's living with all girls. Oh, he can just... <gasps> Harley Mitchell, you say? Oh, there's one guy. Terrence. Bailey Mastroda. Haley Mitchell, sh Harley, my bad. Harley Mitchell, she's cute. She likes alternative music. Okay. Nice. He does not like classical music or easily listening music. And he does not like the color yellow. I did not know that about him. Well, we're gonna... No, it's really just them. Oh, he can... He can have room upstairs though. Well, no, he doesn't need to. He doesn't need to. Let's let's give him, yeah, because I'm sure some other people will end up moving in. So I guess those girls were moving out. Terrence is also dazed. What goes on in this house? Oh gosh. Okay, got a little funny intro going. Cool, cool. A promotion in what? You don't have a job. Oh, he's a bio major. Okay. All right. Well, that's done on that. Let's go back to the McCracken house. The main house. The main McCracken house. Um, now that he's settled in. And hopefully he does his schoolwork. He is responsible, so I trust him. I trust him. Um, but it's scary because, like, you don't know if he's going to actually like do his stuff while you're not looking you know uh that's what happened with casey she was not going to class she was not doing any of her homework claire just went to the dark okay well we're not worried about claire right now then i don't know why she's there she probably went to go visit cj but i didn't realize that she was going there she kind of traded places with us much to think about and i plan on taking a bath and watching squid games which i'm almost done with if you guys have not started squid games yet 10 out of 10 recommend, um, even though apparently the 
Korean to English uh, subtitle translations are not completely accurate. It's still entertaining to watch. Like, if you are in it for, like, the action and everything, like, it'll make sense to you. But, you know, we definitely still need to get that other stuff figured out. They need to handle that. So how did her first day go? She's doing below average. Oh, no. All right, let's go upstairs and get some programming in for the night. Casey was born to wield a hammer. Yeah, she does like handiness. She's so good at it. And then, oh. Y'all saw that, right? Was that their mom? She's crying in CJ's bed. Hey, girl. What you doing here? Why is she sad? And then she's going to go and break the toilet. This is why I'm about to release their spirits. They don't need to... Mm. Like, dude. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. No, do not chat with your dead mom. Like, I honestly don't like the idea of ghosts sometimes, guys. I really don't. Because it gets annoying. They come in, they break stuff. And it's like, why would you do that? To your own children, bro? To your own children? That's just cold. This was good. I needed this. Like, I played I played a little bit the other night with um, one of, like, my free play households. And I was trying out, like, the dream home decorator stuff. And it was not bad. It was not bad. But kind of sleepy, ready for my bath for the night. So thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget to comment if you feel like it. Like, subscribe, and follow. Do do all that. Stay cracking. Stay cheesy. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.